Okay, so we're heading into work. I got, as you can see, both cameras on today. I've been trying to have both cameras. Uh, just for safety reason, no particular reason, just to have both cameras on, but sometimes for safety reason it's better to have both cameras, just in case there is an accident. The 360 will catch any accident around me, and the one in front uh, will have the camera uh, to see the... Uh, the front and the sides of whatever it is I know that I posted a video yesterday with no audio because I had not set up the uh, microphone to the camera because this is a modular helmet and I am going to post uh, of what the helmet looks like my uh, thoughts on it but I really like it. I like the fact that it's a full, a full face helmet uh, that you can actually insert the, uh, I think it's called telecom or something else uh, inside the helmet that you can listen to music. I don't know if you can listen into the background that I'm listening to music as I'm driving. But in all, uh, honesty I uh, hadn't been posting videos because you know I've, I've had a lot of things going on in my life right now and some things are more important than posting videos or blogging or you know but uh, the issue that I wanted to talk to you all about is the battery of this motorcycle I've had two incidents where the motorcycle if it sits for um, four days, four days or a little bit more, uh, the juice runs out. I don't understand why that is happening. When I first got it, it wasn't doing that. And I went on vacation at the end of May and I was out for 10 days. And when I came back, the battery was completely dead. And of course, uh, Honda Care came over turn the bike on but if the battery is completely drained or somewhat drained uh, it doesn't have enough juice to have the motorcycle start so it turned on uh, the guy came put the you know clamps on it and it turned on but when I tried to do um, drive it didn't work so I had to take it to uh, advanced auto zone to see if the battery was just bad or if it just needed to be recharged lucky for me it just needed to be recharged but it had to be left there overnight got up early in the morning because they open at 7 30 gladly uh, so got up early that day uh, the guy showed up 15 minutes late uh, but he showed up before 8 o'clock, which was good because, you know, that's the time that I want to get ready to, you know, come back, put the battery on, and just go to work. It doesn't take me that long to get there. Uh, and so I put it back on, and the battery worked, and that happened, like, I don't know, uh, at the end of, beginning of June. So a couple of Monday, a couple of days, three days ago, Monday, uh, I left the bike sitting there, there since Thursday because I only commute to work from, uh, I only commute to work from Tuesdays to Thursdays and I don't ride during the weekend because I have my son that I take care of and I, you know, you can't put your kid on the bike so uh, and I have haven't asked my best friend to watch him on a weekend because I like to spend time with him but when the, the, the first incident happened I started warming up the bike every day for 10-15 minutes just to make sure that on Tuesday it was uh, able to turn on 
But as, as it so happened on Monday, uh, the bike turned, the lights turned on, but I was not able to get it to actually turn on. So I called the dealership and the dealership where I bought the bike from was kind enough to come and get it for free. Um, they wanted to inspect it and make sure that the battery wasn't bad, that it just needed to re be recovered. And I am going through that crap right now where I feel that I cannot trust this motorcycle. And to get a new battery, it's over $253. And I'm trying to save money because, like I said, I have things that I have going on. And that's the reason why I got the motorcycle. It's uh, cheaper to put gas on. I mean, it doesn't even take $7 every week. And uh, I commute in the express lanes on 66 to get to work. So if the motorcycle doesn't start, then I have to take my car. And if I want to take the express lanes, you know, you all know you have to pay high tolls. $11 one way, $11 to come back. And that's like when spending gas money. And like I said, the economy of this country right now is not that great. Things are, you know, through the roof. And everything is so expensive and salaries do not go up so and with all of that you have to pay car insurance and motorcycle insurance which is not that expensive but at the same time you know you have other expenses to cover mortgage electricity water all that nonsense that used to be so cheap and now it's so freaking expensive so I don't want to keep spending more money that I already had spent on getting the motorcycle and doing the mods that I really wanted to get my good friend shout out to my good friend uh, Gus that was kind enough to spend the whole freaking day putting three inches uh, racers on my motorcycle and the only thing I had to get was the brake line uh, which was $83 $85 so thank you guys for taking care of me and for putting it on I know that day was very hot and it took the whole day for you to do it so thank you so so much you're a great guy the best guy and I hope that we can ride together before the summer ends or when the uh, the fall comes we need to get together and ride uh, so we can just hang out uh, so but I just wanted to test out number one the new helmet uh, it's the I think it's RPHA 90S uh, carbon helmet uh, I was gonna go and try to go for the showing I believe but that thing it's $800 I did not want to spend $800 on a helmet but I did want it to get a good modular helmet that you can open face half face and you know when I go to the gas station and put gas on it I can just pull up the face and uh, you know put gas on put the face down on my way but out of politeness and because I don't like to take the helmet off turn turn it back on just to pump gas that's ridiculous but I saw one of my fellow riders both of them have one and I was doing some research and I know it's a better helmet 
than this one but like I said you know you you buy what you can get and what your budget is and uh, you know a $200 difference is a $200 difference and I've experienced that uh, HJC helmets are very good and yesterday I installed the as you can see the uh, the microphone to the camera and it seems like the view of the setup of the camera it's a pretty good view and I really like this setup much better than the one I had on my old uh, Bell uh, helmet because I had issues with the chin mount uh, because I was people were complaining that they were only looking at this part of the motorcycle instead of what the road looks like ahead and unfortunately for most people who have seen my videos uh, this is the only place where I have been commuting uh, to and from work uh, so you don't get to see anything special except that traffic and every now and then a fellow rider uh, with a different type of motorcycles, Harleys, uh, you know, Ninjas, Kawasaki's, uh, Triumphs. I think I've seen also uh, Baggers. Nice motorcycles. Uh, and usually you know fellow riders are very nice you know they do the hand signal and uh, so I have a video that I took yesterday but it has uh, just it's just a video and I saw you know a couple of their motorcycle which was really nice to see because most of the time you only see one person on motorcycle and to me this is the best way to commute to work it's faster uh, it only takes me 50 to 20 minutes and I take the express lane I don't have to pay anything like I've said before and today it's a cloudy day it's supposed to rain but I believe it's supposed to rain only in the morning and it, even if it rains in the afternoon on my way back home I do have a uh, rain suit that I got from Speedy which is my brand of motorcycling gear except for this jacket that it's fly because the one that I bought for summertime from Speedy uh, doesn't get a lot of ventilation like this one this one has a lot of of ventilation when it's really really hot outside uh, the other one has ventilation but not as much as this one and I've used this one since I got my rebel 300 and I really really like it today I'm wearing you know the speedy gloves and the speedy pants and the speedy shoes that I really really like they're very nice and comfortable but not the jacket and you know it's 78 degrees but it's, it feels like it's like 70 degrees because it there is no sun and it's supposed to rain and when the rain comes it gets a little cooler but not that much so I try to ride the motorcycle as much as I can if I wake up and it's not already raining hard otherwise if it's just a little sprinkle I take it to work uh, last time that it rained in the afternoon I put my uh, my gear on top of the jacket and the pants and it did a great job and the helmet the visor from the helmet although the water was falling uh, on my face I noticed that it was just 
that the water was not sticking into the helmet or the helmet was not getting foggy uh, like on the bell that was only $150 so for me having a helmet that is gonna protect my eyes from the sun and that it's going to also uh, let me see through the rain of course when it's not raining like pouring rain or go like where there's a storm or whatever but it's just you know a rainy day uh, it's worth every single penny and I had been saving money to get it I just didn't know which brand I was gonna get but I am going to post today the what the helmet looks like I'm sure that you've seen a lot of reviews with what it comes with uh, and I didn't show what it come what it came with because I already had the dealer installed everything for me and they did it for free so I'm able to take calls listen to music which I enjoy a whole lot uh, and you can listen to the music but you can also listen to the motorcycle and the cars and it doesn't distract me from what I need to do while I ride my motorcycle so I try to be um, a safe rider and be aware of my surroundings I think that's for me a priority I need to get home safe and sound and I do wear motorcycle gear all the time I don't care how hot it is or how cold it is if I ride it when it's you know I ride it when it was 40 degrees um, in the springtime when I started uh, riding the motorcycle because uh, you know going through that traffic right now that traffic that you see right there it's light because school is still out but come J J uh, August 21st that thing is gonna be bumper to bumper and I am going to try